Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to the beautiful surroundings of the Sleeve Donard Resort and Spa here in Newcastle in County Down in Northern Ireland. So I'm here for the 2019 Classic Car Show which is held in the ballroom of the hotel. You're going to see some great classic cars in this video guys. Wait till you see what's inside. Let's go inside, meet up with Bill. He's going to do a walk around with us. And uh, yeah, he's going to tell us all about it, guys. Let's go. And I'm joined here again with Bill Forsyth. Bill, thank you very much. You're going to do a complete walk around here of the show. So, Bill, what can you show us this year? Well, <clears throat> you'll see very shortly. Uh, that we have a great selection of cars this year and of course that would be to celebrate our 25th anniversary of the show in this hotel so it's been running for 25 years but of course not only that the Ford Anglia will also have its anniversary 60th year 60 uh, years 60 <laughs> years of the Ford Anglia yeah. so you will see quite a few Anglias here we have an Anglia theme uh, but let's Let's move on down anyway and, and uh, have a very, a look at a what very we have. special Anglia to show them on stage, Bill. Uh, a very special Anglia yeah. indeed, as you will see very <laughs> shortly. Wait till you see this, guys, uh, but we have to go down through yes, some indeed. cars here first. <coughs> so, uh, fabulous Mark 1 Escort. Yes, a Mark 1 Escort twin cam, uh, and it's in rally form, and it has been rebuilt, totally rebuilt. Uh, it'll probably never do a rally again, but uh, there we are, and it is restored to absolute perfection. Um, these cars, the valuation of that would be just uh, well into three figures and more uh, in terms of how it was built and what's in it. Yeah, he's, uh, got, the, uh, he's got the off-road tires there. Yes, we have. Yeah. Everything about the car would be, would be just spot on. Um, forestry rallies in that one. Yes, absolutely. And of course, uh, you know, being the twin cam, it's, yeah. uh, it's a very much sought after vehicle. Uh, a twin be cam Mark behind one. it then we have the Escort well, that followed it. The Escort RS2000, uh, which we would call the uh, rubber-nosed RS2000, uh, and that's a 1979 car. That car, would you believe, uh, uh, in early December of last year, which is not that far back, was in Burchell. It was not even ready for this show. Uh, I asked him, could it be here? And of course he said, yes, uh, it'll be back to him. And, uh, It'll be painted and returned to him and he started to build it and here we are. So the show sometimes sets a goal <laughs> for those who are restoring vehicles. If I want them to bring a vehicle, uh, they'll say it's not ready. And I'll say, but sure, you could make it ready. <laughs> and here is that example of yeah. that. And he's got brand new tires on the front. Brand well. new tires. It, it, <laughs> it was driven here on, on what we call uh, road wheels. Uh, and then these wheels are put on it when it arrives and that, that just keeps the car as new. So that car was rather a mess at one time. Uh, <coughs> and again, a valuable car, very difficult to find a good RS2000. Yeah, uh, they are, they are def definitely collectible, all right. Yes, they certainly 2000. are. And of course, sitting behind it is yeah. a nice red Mexico, 1978. And again, uh, well restored and well painted, um, very original uh, in its appearance, uh, with the exceptions of the wheels, but that, yeah. that'll not do it any harm. Yeah. Um, a lovely car, a lovely car. And uh, Bill, we have this Manta. Well now, wow. this Manta. <laughs> this looks the business now with the yes. Rossman's livery. Yes, that, that, that is a 1985 car, uh, and yeah. that's uh, owned by a local rally man uh, who also has a Mark II Escort, which he rallies, and uh, I thought we were getting the Mark II Escort, that's what I had asked for, and then he offered this, and we thought, no, well, I think we'll take that. <laughs> I think we'll take that. The Rothmans, it's yeah. just a beautiful. God, he has it really A beautiful example fantastic. of a rally car. He's got the bucket seats and the harnesses on the inside. Now, everything's there, that's, that's ready to rally. Yeah. It certainly is. Wow, and he's got the <coughs> intakes in the back window as well. He has. Yeah, so oh, this bill is uh, this is exceptional now. This is quite something now to have one of these at the show. It is, it is. Um, There's lots of uh, Opel enthusiasts now that would love 
This would be like their dream Opel Manta. It would. It would be. Mm. It certainly would be. Yeah, I love and that of now. That of is, course, uh, uh, right excellent. beside that, right beside mm. that, we're still that's Opel, and this is Vauxhall. But a Vauxhall Nova 1.3 Sport. Yeah. I mean, where would you find one as good as that? Where would you find? Yeah. I mean, they've all disappeared. A Sport, a Sport. Yeah. Uh, it's 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 just absolutely unique to have something as good as that. Yeah. Let's uh, just have a quick look underneath. Yes, it'll it's a bit be dark. <laughs> it'll be a bit but, dark uh, down there, but um, yeah, so Bill, Bill, like this is why I continuously come to the show, Bill. This is my fifth year here. The standard is just incredible. It just amazes me the amount of work that these guys put into these cars. Yes, well, we uh, we search annually. Uh, every year we search for quality and we want quality and we like quality now that's not to say we will not have a vehicle here in its original patina uh, untouched unrestored uh, looks as though it should be restored but leave it alone mm -hmm. it's not rotten it's not uh, rough it's just a bit tired and a bit dull looking uh, and we will accept that car as quickly as we would accept something in concourse condition or indeed fully restored so the people know the quality that we want. The people have been here often enough, they've been here now for 25 years, in and out, and uh, at the end of the day, that's the quality that we want to show. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, we're, we're indebted to the people yeah. who bring these cars here. So anyway, we're- and The main theme, Bill, of course. The main theme. The Anglia. Ford Anglia. Now, the 60th anniversary of Ford Anglia, yeah. and the Northern Ireland Ford Anglia 105E Owners Club, uh, very kindly set this up for us and uh, as you can see you have a selection of Anglias going across there you have the Deluxe, you have the Super Anglia uh, The Super is the red one Bill is it? That's the Super as well, oh, sorry, that's, that's the, the super, super as well yeah. if, if you notice the stripe up the side of them there'll always be a different coloured stripe up the side of the vehicle and that is a Super Oh that distinguishes the that's Super? That distinguishes the Super and yeah. then this one here doesn't have that so, Oh uh, yes so the 105E bill, that came with a one litre engine? That came with a 997 engine. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. am I correct in saying that the Anglia was the first Ford ever to have a four speed gearbox? It would have been, yes, but not this shape of an Anglia. Oh, it I get The you, shape yeah. before that. Yeah. Uh, the shape before that would have been a 100, 100E 100 mm. Ford. And then it, was, uh, it became a, a four speed gearbox as opposed to a three speed gearbox yeah. before it actually was put in these Ford Anglias. In so the shape. Anglia name has been established well before even this car. Well, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The Anglia name has been going for some time. Yeah. And then so, we um, to this wine colored Anglia. And yes, that's that again, that's another super. Wow. That's another super. And of course, engine and a super will be 1200cc as opposed to 997. So uh, it just went that wee bit quicker. I think it's the same engine they had in the Cortina, if I am correct. Yes, the very first Cortina. The console Cortina would have had a 1200cc engine. Right. It would. It would indeed. And is this one that used to race, Bill? No, it's not. Yeah. It's just been uh, restored and rebuilt. Uh, and as you can see, it's got the alloy wheels on it, which doesn't do it any harm. It's yeah. very smart looking. Uh, but no, it's not. It, it wasn't in rally form. It's just to um, smarten the car up using but these Anglias. Bill, um, people modified them. They put in six-cylinder engines, V8 engines. They do. They do. So they put all sorts of even twin cam engines. That, that's what you've seen up there at the very beginning. That engine would fit into that Anglia. Yeah. And uh, they're doing all sorts of things. They have bubble arches on them, and uh, and yes, you can make an Anglia into a rally here. But it very, was very a quite a successful racing car in its day, Bill. You know, like, they did do quite well. They did. They yeah. did, yes. yes so they, they do have a bit of racing history, the Anglias here. But that's a good range of the colours 60s. there. I mean, that, 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 that one there would be ermine white. That's a very popular uh, Ford colour in its time. Uh, that's the Ford ermine white. Yeah. Ermine white. But let's, let's, let's go to the... Uh, um, very, very special, very special <laughs> cars on stage. The very special yeah. Anglia, which is on the stage here. Wait uh, until you see the ice cream van guys over there, but let's have a look at this one here. I'll just get up on the, to the steps. Again, we are back to Anglia Super. 
hence the stripe up beside again. Yeah. And what year is this one? And, uh, and that one there was 1967. Right. We're coming near the end of the angle oh, in 1967. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, and this one has got what we call five and a half steel wheels on it, which would have been a very period wheel at that time. So it's got five and a half steels, which helps the handling of the car and helps the appearance of it. But yeah, we will move on to the, would you call it the star of the show, Bill? Well, or it's certainly <laughs> one of the stars. Well, well, that's why it's on the stage. It is the star <laughs> of the show. Uh, yeah. it's, 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 it's a one-off. It's yeah. a one-off. Uh, there was only 300 plus of these made ever yeah. and they were they were built in the mainland uh, this one was 1963 mm. uh, it's a Ford Anglia Thames van which was made into an ice cream van yeah. uh, special features on it for example is why is the steering wheel on the passenger side why is it <laughs> left hand drive yes. it's left hand drive so the ice cream man could pull up to the curb right pull up to the curb and step out and serve those who wish to have ice cream. Yeah. So he was at the at the proper side, the correct side for serving. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, it has got his freezer, his fridge. Uh, the the uh, <coughs> the paintwork is exactly as it should be. Yeah. And actually, oh, to, yeah, actually to prove that, yes, to prove that we actually have it here. That's an original piece. That's a piece out of that van. That's yes. an original piece out of a van. So you can see so the color match there is pretty yeah. much spot on. They're pretty much spot on, yeah. even, the, even the back of it. <laughs> even the back of it. Yeah. But I mean, this ice cream van. <coughs> yeah, this is. You will not see another one of these. Yeah. In Ireland. Definitely not. I've never seen one. So. Look, he's got all the pieces there at the back as well. Yes. Uh, every th everything. All, like all this the would detail. Have been a water. Every detail is as it was when it came out new. Um, and that van has been restored. That ice cream van has been restored to exactly as it should be. And I've been told as well <coughs> that the underneath is... Underneath it is exactly the same as it is on the top. It is. I mean, Bill, uh, like Ford would take something like this and put it back into their own museum. <laughs> well, yes, they would, they would, they would. But they won't, they won't get that one. <laughs> <coughs> but yes, yes, they would. So, Bill, we'll just have a quick look inside and yes. see the condition. Uh, Not it a is problem. <coughs> Absolutely. Everything inside. Pristine. Yes. It's proper. It's exact. It's correct. Wow. It's as it should be. And um, yeah. it's exactly how it looked when it came out of the factory. Yeah. And they were all they were obviously not built by Ford. They were yeah. they were built spicely and commissioned uh, by Walter Ice Cream. Yeah. And uh, <coughs> we have a look at the engine bay as well. That looks incredible. Yes. Okay, Bill, you've got the torch. We're just having a quick look underneath the engine. So you can see in the mirror, it's very handy with these mirrors. You can see the condition underneath the uh, ice cream van. Just look at this. Bill, he's- Yes, the, 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 um, the paintwork underneath his veil is exactly the same as the paintwork on the top. Uh, it's, it's, you would, well, it'd be a shame to take that out on the open road with salt. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and I mean, it probably didn't come out of the factory as good as that. Right. Uh, they always came out with very little paint underneath. But this restoration, as you can see, has been yeah. has been done very, very, very well. And Bill, is that a registration from Northern Ireland? Is it? No, it's not. No. Right. All these all these vehicles, as I say, they were they were they were left-hand drive. They were built probably to send to France, right. but they kept <coughs> a few of them over. Walls kept a few of them over for the mainland, yeah. GB, uh, and that's one of them. But uh, I'm led to believe that there's only four or five left in existence, <coughs> and this is the only one that you'll ever see, probably. Well, uh, it's probably the only one in that condition. <laughs> well, um, with only with only over 300 built, yeah. that was time from the 60s. Well, there's none of them left. I mean. They've ended up scrap, obviously. Yeah. Uh, it's nice to see that has returned to its original glory. Yeah, that is and, uh, exceptional. <coughs> we are very, very proud to mm. see that sitting on the stage. Bill, I'm just wondering, will <coughs> I put a bid in for this little motorbike? Ah, well, now, <laughs> you can do if you wish, yes. That's highest bid, look. <laughs> yes, the highest bid, you, you just pop it in that, um, yeah. that piece of paper and pop it in the box, and at the end of the show, we pull out the highest bidder and they'll own the bike. That's, that's a brand new bike. <laughs> it's a brand new bike, 90cc. I'll put in a bid for the yes. fun of it and see what happens. Aye. 
Well, it would be easier putting a bid in for the bike than it would be for the van. Exactly. <coughs> I don't know how you would value the van. So, Bill, we are going to move on to this Rolls-Royce. Yes. Now, this is a very unusual Rolls-Royce being the third oldest Rolls-Royce in existence. Wow. The third oldest Rolls-Royce in existence. So, um, it had been lying for some 30 plus years um, in a very old building <coughs> um, and has been purchased by uh, a gentleman from New Zealand mm. and it needed a fair bit of work done so of course where is it sent? It's sent to Northern Ireland to James Black Restorations Limited and uh, every year we have a Rolls Royce or a Bentley here and uh, <coughs> of course James uh, and his team has the ability to restore something as old as this. Yeah. That would be the most expensive car in the show, would you right. believe? Uh, uh, 1905. 1905. 1905. <laughs> it's 1905 and um, it's a four-cylinder light 20 horsepower. Yeah. So it's quite a small Rolls-Royce when you look at it. Yeah. Everyone thinks that Rolls-Royce should be big. Big and clumsy, if you like, but uh, mm -hmm. and of course James Black is here in the hotel this weekend, uh, and he has uh, he has a Derby Bentley sitting outside the front of the hotel. Oh yes, the a Bentley. A Derby Bentley. Yeah. Uh, that would be from the mid 30s, pr probably 34, 35. And Bill, I'm sure that this Rolls Royce back in 1905 would have been well over the price of uh, a couple of houses, I'd say. I would have thought so. Yes, yeah. I would have thought so. Now it would buy. <laughs> Well, the price of it or the value of it would buy more than one house. <laughs> <laughs> Even today? Oh, it would, it would buy quite a few houses, it would. Wow. So that would be, we would deem that to be the most valuable car on the show. And we see the horn there, you just squeeze the horn. <laughs> you squeeze the horn, you do. Yeah. So, um, I said, well done to them on that. It's a That's lovely a example, that. A lovely yeah, and great, fabulous. great history with that car. Yeah. So the one outside the hotel that James actually came in, yeah. which he would drive daily, <laughs> uh, it's a Bentley, yeah. and that one is a Rolls, of course. So, uh, yeah. and he has a couple of really smart, smart motorcycles with him mm. this year as well. So, uh, the Bruff Superior. Well, these are his motorbikes as well. Yes, they are. They are the Bruff Superior. Of course, everyone th uh, would think that it's a very old bike and was yeah. a very old bike. But this is the this is the new production of the Bruff Superior. Yeah, and um, what a bike! That's how they build the Bruff Superior now, so they're now available to buy again. And the bike here, Bill? And that bike over there, well, uh, again, uh, it's a Bruff Superior, but of yeah. course it's from way back. Yeah. It's Even from way back. I don't yeah. know what age yeah. that one is now. Uh, but <clears throat> again, there you have it, the old and the new. Yeah. I have something over here that I would like you to yeah. see. We're bouncing from the most expensive car on the show. Yeah. Uh, and from our special feature, Ford Anglia, uh, I'm going over to a very small car. Right. But some people would maybe think, well, ugh, sure, it's just a little fiat. Oh, but it's yes. a special little fiat. Yeah. It's a fiat 126. And it has been, has been lying outside for many years. And it was absolutely rotten. No wheel arches, uh, rust everywhere, headlamps falling out of it. Uh, rusty wheels, seized brakes, but the gentleman who restored this has the ability to restore it, and it was his father's car from new. Wow! And uh, I encouraged him to restore it. Right. He wasn't really interested in doing much with it, and we thought we'd lost it, it would just end up in scrap. Yeah. But I encouraged him to move on with it, and uh, I gave him the show date, and told him that was his goal. Right. We want that car at the show. <laughs> and I knew that he had the ability and the tools and the expertise to do it. And there you go, there's the fate. Yeah. And it's as clean underneath yeah. as it is on the top, just like the Anglia van. Wow. And it's very low mileage on it. 1984, although we believe that it was m manufactured possibly 82, 83. This little car here. Let's have a look at this. This little, little car here now, this is called a Noble. Right. And noble. Uh, most people would look at that and say, well, that's a bubble car yeah. uh, or a micro car. Well, it is. It's a micro car. But the noble, the noble was built here uh, in Northern Ireland. Right. Uh, and it's, uh, it was built in Newton Arch. 
Right. And this has been restored, hence the EZ registration and Northern Ireland registration. Right. Um, what year is this? A 197 been? engine on it, like almost 200 cc. 200 cc? Yes, 1962. <laughs> right. And what you see is exactly the way it came out when it was new. And of yeah. course, what we would call the suicidal oh, yeah. door. Yeah. The suicidal door opening the incorrect way. <laughs> You're walking out into traffic. Yeah. So. I can't believe 200 cc. That's. Yes, well, of course, there's a lot of bubble cars are only yeah. 50 cc or. Must be the smallest engine of any car here at the uh, show. Well, it would be. It <laughs> would, yes, it would be. Mm. So. So built in Newton Ards, huh? Newton Ards, yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, again, a very. <sighs> Very unique car because I mean mm. I don't think there'd be another one here. They yeah. would all be gone. Obviously, a lot of it is fiberglass, you know. Yeah. Uh, so to remanufacture panels for that or to do anything, but it starts, it drives. You go anywhere on it. Yeah. Uh, and um, no, well done to him. 1962. Uh, yes. It looks fantastic. It does. <laughs> So you always like to have a couple of tractors at Well, we always it. have one tractor. This yeah. year we have two, uh, and of course they're very, very different. Not yeah. different by name, because they're both by Ferguson. One's Massey Ferguson and one is Ferguson. Mm. Uh, the Ferguson TVO petrol, the grey, as you can see, again been restored uh, by a meticulous, meticulous enthusiast. Uh, and that was his father's tractor. Oh, right. So there's a lot of vehicles in here and they've yeah. been they have been owned by, uh, um, you know, fathers of the people who would be here. Mm -hmm. uh, sadly, uh, his father is not with us, but um, he has restored the tractor, and as you can see, it's perfect. Of course, moving over to the, the 35 Massey Ferguson, yeah. and you would expect that to be red, and why on earth is it yellow? Well, yeah. it's yellow and it's got mud yards on it, and it's got this buffer at the front, this bumper. Mm. Uh, that would be an industrial tractor. If it was in a green colour, a dark green colour, like an army colour, it would have been used at airports to pull aircraft out of a hangar, oh, and yeah. also the same bumper on the front, on the green one, to uh, push the cargo about. So, um, yeah. hence the ordinary tyres on it. Those would be for grass or smooth tarmac. So, yeah. So, um, no, uh, so it's not often that we have two tractors, and they're two very different tractors, uh, and yet they're made by Ferguson, the famous yes. Harry Ferguson. Okay, Bill. We but I'm going to bring you around here to this. Uh, we always have minis, and of course we have a Mini Cooper S here. Yeah. This Mini Cooper S here now, um, from 1968, this used to be a police Q car. All right. And a Q car was like a traffic branch car. Right. But years ago in Ireland here, we, we had what we call a Q car. It was an unmarked police car. You didn't notice police car until <laughs> until yeah. the noise happened behind you <laughs> and, uh, and they had you pulled in. So that was an ex-police car. And he didn't know that until he was almost at the completion of the restoration. All right. Uh, otherwise he would have added maybe the Q car bits and bobs that should have been <laughs> yes. on it. Uh, what year uh, is this, Bill? That's 1968. 68, all right. 1968, so... Oh, he's got the sliding window there. It's got the sliding yeah. window on the door hinges on the outside of the door. Yeah. Uh, and um, the Cooper S wheels with the holes in them for a wee bit of air to the disc. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would help to cool the disc down a wee bit. Um, and it's, it's uh, I think I'd be correct in saying that, is island blue with a snowberry white roof. Yeah. So... Most of these Mini Coopers and S's would have alloy wheels on them, that one has the original S wheels on it. Well, we'll just go up this line here, um, yeah. and we're looking at a, a beautiful Mark I midget, a very early midget. Mm. Uh, as you can see, how you spot it's an early one, it doesn't have door handles. All right, the door okay. handles inside the door, as opposed to outside the door. 
Yeah. Uh, so that's a very early midget. Yeah. Uh, again, snowberry white uh, and has got the steel wheels as opposed to wire wheels. Almost has the same style as the Mini. Yes, it's Look. just the same <laughs> thought. Just yeah. the same thought. The same type of hubcap and the holes in the wheel. Yeah. Uh, and of course we've seen the Fiat. And we've seen the Fiat, Fiat and we're on a Mini pickup here now. Um, oh yeah, the pickups. Yes, a Mini pickup again, very hard to find. Yeah. Very hard to find a pickup. Uh, but that's, that's an idea. Anything built commercial? with Mini or Morris Minor vans, yes. they're all very hard yes. to find. All the they? commercials are hard to find because yeah. the commercials were very overworked. Yeah. They were bought to work. Uh, and you could either carry cardboard boxes or cement blocks. Yeah. And if it was a cement block vehicle, well then it was destroyed. <laughs> yes. And they were forgotten about and they were just thrown away. Or if it was a fish van, it would have been just rusted that's to bits. That's right, that's right. And of course, here we are standing in front of uh, what would be very big excitement to the young boys of today and that is the Ford Escort Cosworth RS uh, and it's a very unique colour, we believe that to be a Connaught green colour, only a few made in that colour. Uh, this car would be putting out somewhere in the region of 220, 230 brake horsepower and um, obviously being a Cosworth it's got the, uh, the, the big spoiler in the back, the twin spoiler in the rear uh, and um, Everything about this car is exactly as it came out of the factory. It's got the um, louvers on the bonnet. It's 1994. One in this condition uh, probably fetch somewhere between 40 and 50 thousand pounds. Yeah, they are still fetching a lot of money. They are fetching yeah. a lot of money. They Not as much are. money as the BMW M3 E30. Yeah, but they are still high value. They know? are. They're 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 coming very close to it. Yeah. You know so. Now, I want you to focus on this uh, unusual car that probably most people couldn't even put a label on in terms of what is it. Yeah. But it's 1953 and it's a Lancia B20 GT. Uh, a very, very unusual car. We have never seen one like this. Uh, this one has spent its time in the mainland, of course, now owned by uh, someone here in Northern Ireland. Uh, a two-door car. Uh, lovely condition yeah. could do with a wee bit of paintwork here and there but uh, we wouldn't fault it for that we wouldn't fault it for 1953, that 1953 1953 that doesn't look like a 1953 yeah. car this is definitely the oldest Lancia I have ever seen <laughs> yes it probably is uh, and uh, believe it or believe it not that car the value of that car would be well over 80,000 pounds it wow. could even make a hundred thousand because of its uniqueness because of its uh, rarity uh, and it displays a lovely number plate, 99 EYL. It looks so fabulous from the rear here, I really like the rear of it. Yes, uh, it's, um, it's got a lovely title, well you can see the title there. Yeah. So um, we have never seen one before yeah. and we believe this to be the only one in Ireland on a 1987 Porsche 911 Carrera. Yeah. But here's an unusual item here now, uh, a Mark II Escort van. We were talking, we spoke about vans earlier on, about uh, how abused they would be. And um, here we have just about one of the best vans that, that um, you could ever find. Restored to perfection again. But of course, it'll not be carrying cement blocks yes. <laughs> or wood or anything else. Yeah, uh, having said that, having said that, the owner of this van uses this van weekly. Right. Not every day, but weekly. He will go out on it and he will enjoy himself on it. Uh, and he he has made it he has made it very roadworthy in terms of keeping up with uh, uh, you know today's traffic. Yeah. Uh, so it, it it's it's not it's not running on a 1.1 petrol engine. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's it's tweaked up to uh, the engine and it's an EFI actually. Yeah. Now the here on the left hand side a 1969 1600 e Cortina. Uh, that would certainly excite me, I would take that home. <laughs> yes. uh, it's a beautiful car. The man that owns that has quite a collection of cars and uh, he has been here every year so far. Yeah. And uh, we're back to Ford again. Yes. Ford Escort RS Turbo. Ford RS, RS Turbo 1985. Again, a young boy's dream. Yes. A young boy's dream. There are young fellas come in here and of course their vehicle they won't look at, but they'll certainly look at this. Yeah. And they would like to take that home as well. 
And of course, and we have the DeLorean. Of course, there. we have the DeLorean. <laughs> yes, there's always a DeLorean sneaking about somewhere. Yes. And this one here, obviously, they were all stainless steel. The odd one made it to paint. There was the odd one was painted. Yeah, I saw a red one. Yes, there would be a, a red year one. Ago, I think. And um, some people would prefer them painted, yeah. but um, again, that's a fine example uh, of a stainless steel car. That would be very difficult to keep. Yes. It would be very difficult to keep in terms of paw marks and hand marks. In fact, you can actually see hand marks on the door. And oh, right, you, I see you them there, me. yes. You know, it, it, it's just one of those things that you just uh, find very difficult to keep. Uh, you're not meant to polish it. You can't hit it with polish. And you can't lift wire wool to clean it either. <laughs> uh, so it, it has to be cleaned by a professional that knows what they're doing. So that's the DeLorean Motor Company. Yeah, so I think that about again, wraps us up here, Bill, from the again, show. Again, car, a car built in Northern Ireland. Yes. Which was unique. But, but there we are. There's, there's the show. Uh, and it's 25th year. We're pleased to, still to be here. Uh, and um, even though we say, ah, we'll stop. We'll maybe stop. But <laughs> I don't think we're allowed to stop. <laughs> and um, I hope that you come back next year, Stavros. Thanks. And... Thanks, see us and we will have a totally different collection for you there are cars do not repeat in here oh every yes Bill. Year. Uh, just remind the viewers of the rule again the rule is if you bring <laughs> your car once you're not asked back but that doesn't mean to say you can buy another car so you keep yeah. buying you keep restoring you keep collecting and we'll keep exhibiting because is it 15 or 17 years you said uh, that people are allowed to bring back their cars. Well, yes, if we were doing a feature and we required your car back and it was here 15 years ago, well, we might think about that, yes. We will let <laughs> yes. you back at again to do a feature. But uh, thank you very much yeah. for, for all the support and, of course, it's for cancer research. Uh, it's all about cars, but it's all about cancer research. And yeah. Thank you very much. And thank you, Bill. Thank you. Cheers now, thanks. We've even got this Austin 7 Chummy. That's the name of it. It's a Chummy from 1926. It's a tiny little car, this. Absolutely. Really, really tiny, look. Huh? I'd love to get a photo inside, but the owner's not here. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you that to finish off today's video from the Sleeve Donard Resort and Spa here in Newcastle in County Down. I had a great time here today looking at all these fabulous cars and a huge thanks to Bill Forsyth of course for showing me all around this fabulous collection. So we'll be back again January 2020 to do it all over guys. I do hope you can join me then and a huge thanks to you for watching the video. Take care guys, I'll chat to you all again next weekend. Until then, cheers! So tell me about your Ford Capri. This is a very rare example here. It's one of 400 produced in Australia, one of 200 left on the road and believed to be one of one in the UK and Ireland.